A line of demonstrators blocking the Wyatt employee lot Wednesday night. The facility currently housing ICE detainees. A Jewish group called Never Again Action organized last night's demonstration to protest the Trump administration's immigration policies. They say employees are just as much at fault for aiding and abetting the policies surrounding immigration and deportation in the United States. This is the second protest outside the detention center this summer, but this one had a very different ending. Take a close look at this video where the truck tries to pull into the parking lot. It stops before the crowd, but as the protesters begin to get upset, the truck continues to drive through them. One of the protest organizers tells us two people got injured and were sent to the hospital. Then seconds later, a cloud of pepper spray is deployed into the crowd from multiple angles. Protesters claiming it was Wyatt correction officers who were aiming the pepper spray into their faces in the open crowd. See as this woman is carried out of the crowd yelling for help after getting hit with the spray in her face. The video then continues where the protester yells at one of the officers. You allowed that! <laughs> Among the protesters, State Representative Aaron Regenberg, who was arrested at the first demonstration earlier this summer. Mayor Diosa of Central Falls tweeting out this morning he spoke with AG Naronha and Colonel Manny, who are joining the Central Falls Police Department in investigating last night's events. He also added, quote, I appreciate their collaboration in ensuring a transparent investigation. The attorney general adding in his own statement, quote, it's unfortunate how last night's situation unfolded and they urge all to exercise restraint as they investigate.